Hello guys, this is Rich of Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. Before we start our devotional guys, I would like to shout out Rose Ann Villegas, Foreman's Work, Vic and John Blog, Jan TV, Gladys Carolino, Michael Aborita, Aronilo Legaspi Blog, Digital Blogger, Maricel Aborita TV, Dritz, Michael Aborita, Morina Jane, Swagger Bailu, Kigwa Butigon, Chris Ann, Psyche Carion, Erlinda Villegas, Zani Bob, Gail Veno Zeben Primero, Papa Ja TV, Jusa, Pamilyang Laagan, Mama Jeans TV, Miss M.E. Official, Jaw Travel and Tour, Kigwa Butigon, Team Kigwa and Team Survivor. How are you? Hoping na productive yung day na natin ngayon no? sa mga ginagawa natin. We are all productive and blessed. That's why before we lay down this evening, I'll encourage you to help our devotional also. Thank you for the regular viewers na nanonood, na hindi lang sana kaya nanonood, but instead, uh, may you also take this as your devotional. Then after this, before you sleep, you will spend time praying also. No? Okay guys, let's proceed to our devotional. The scriptures we have for today is found in Matthew 19 verses 17 to 30. Matthew 19 Verses 17 to 30. Okay. Uh, I'm still reading the devotional study Bible. No? In order for us to really understand. Because the words you see is so simplified. Na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay. Let's now read Matthew chapter 19 verses 16. Let's start 16 to 30. The title of what is written here in the Bible is The Rich Young Man. No? Sige, makinig tayo because this story is so important and so familiar with us. No? The rich young man, verse 16 to 30, Now a man came to Jesus and asked, Teacher, what good thing must I do to get eternal life? Why do you ask me about what is good? Jesus replied, There is only one who is good. If you want to enter life, obey the commandments. Which one? The man inquired. Jesus replied, Do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not give false testimony, honor your father and mother, and love your neighbor as yourself. All this I have kept, the young man said. What do I still lack? Jesus answered, If you want to be perfect, go, sell your possession, and give to the poor, and you will have treasures in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sad because he had a great wealth. Then Jesus said to his disciple, I tell you the truth, it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eyes of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples hear this, they were greatly astonished and asked, who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Remember, no? That verse 26. Peter answered him, We have left everything to follow you. What then will there be for us? Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth. As the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man sits on the glorious throne, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses or brother or sister or father or mother or children or fields for my sake will receive a hundred times as much and will inherit eternal life. But many who, 
who are first will be last, and many who are last will be the first. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, let's pray. Father God, the scripture we just read, Lord God, is so powerful and it would mean so much, O oh God, for us, O oh Lord. Teach us not to love things, but to love you and people around us, O oh God. Teach us not to love ourselves, but teach us to love our neighbors. Lord, thank you that you're going to lead us and help us understand about this reading. Ko ano talaga yung gusto mo mangyari, O Lord God, sa amin. Before we sleep, O God, teach us also to really meditate on the word na naririnig namin this evening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Our focus scripture for today, guys, is in Matthew 19.30 and it says, Many who are first will be last. Okay. So the title of our devotional is Unexpected Winners. Perhaps the most reporterous spill-binding moment in the 1918 Winter Olympic was when the Sikh Republic world champion snowboarder Esther Ledeka won an event in a completely different sport, skiing, and she took the first place gold medal even though she had the un inviable position of skiing 26th a feat believed to be basically impossible. O nga naman, no? <laughs> Swimming yung sports niya, pero na, napunta siya sa ano? Sa skiing. Amazingly, Lidika qualified to race the women's Super G, an event that combines downhill skiing with a shallow course after she won by 0.01 of a second on borrowed skis. She was just as shocked as the media and other contestant who had assumed the winner would be one of the top skiers. This is how the world works. We assume the winners will keep winning while all the others will lose. It was a jolt. Then, when the disciples heard Jesus say how hard it is, for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven, Jesus turned everything upside down. How could being rich a winner after a road back? Apparently, if we trust in what we have, what we can do, who we are, then it's not only hard but actually impossible to trust God. The kingdom of God doesn't play by our rules. Many who are first, Jesus says, will be last, and many who are last will be first. And whether you are the first or last, everything we receive is purely by grace, by God's unmerited favor. Amen and amen. Guys, I know na there are those unexpected uh, incidents that nangyari sa mga buhay-buhay natin. No? And we praise God for that. Okay, so in my case, marami na, marami na, I cannot mention all of it, no? Kaya we have to praise God for that unexpected na nagiging tayo ang napili with that, no? Okay, so I have questions here, guys, no? At sana we have to consider it na, mapander natin before we sleep, no? Okay, consider how you view people or how you view your own life okay i view people as an important person that's why uh siguro lumalabas yung pagka nurse ko or pagka concern ko kung may makita akong somebody who is suffering no kaya nung sa school if something or somebody is suffering from an incident or accident that needs my help para uh, natataranta talaga ako na matulungan yung tao na yun kasi nga, I view that person as an important. Maski yung soul natin, our soul is very important. Kaya kailangan talaga natin ng salvation in order for us to be with God. No? Okay, that's how a view person. No? How does Jesus' way of seeing so-called loser and winner change your perspective? For me, 
loser ka, if you have no relationship with God, and you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord. But once you have accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, everything will just follow. Wag lang natin uh, gamitin parang maging swerte if Jesus Christ is with us. All the blessings came from God. If you have relationship with God, accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, then everything will just follow. No? Maski yun lang yung matutunan natin this evening. We must have a relationship with God. Accept Jesus Christ as, our, as your personal Savior and Lord. I will refer you back to the blog I have. That's my first blog. How are you between God and the pandemic? Yun. That is a very powerful word na mapander mo kung sino ka. Kung gaano ka-importante si Lord sa buhay natin. No? Okay guys, let's pray. Winning and losing Lord can turn upside down in God's kingdom. But for us, a relationship with you, we declare that we are the grand winner. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for those regular uh, listeners. Team Kigwas, no? Team Survival. Another team na naman na uh, na-add ko ngayon dito is uh, the Morina Jean team. A member din ng Team Kigwas. Uh, to the leadership of Morina Jean, Michael Aborita, and Foreman Swerd. And to those na na-join para makinig, no? God bless us all, no? Okay, so this is again Rich, Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo uh, sa muli at hanggang sa muli. Paalam!